what's going on everybody Donnie here with another video and today we are doing another episode of the now Hamilton Hurricanes GM mode we're starting this off with the draft order now it looks like the draft order is going to be in the game every year which is kind of cool so here's the results number one Winnipeg number two Chicago number three Detroit four Toronto five Columbus six Calgary seven Philly eight Edmonton nine Minnesota ten Montreal eleven us 12 Buffalo, 13 New Jersey, and 14 Dallas. So Dallas and Chicago didn't make the playoffs, or they made a trade for a lotto pick? Like, I don't know how that works, but... Alright. Um, also, we have the retired players. I forgot about that. The retired players are here. So we've got Mark Strait retired for us. Let's see the league. Um, Yager, Aginla, Marlowe, Sedin, Elias, Doan, Zetterberg. Wow, what a list. Alright. Okay, so let's get past that. So the 2017 Stanley Cup champions with Tampa Bay Lightning. Congratulations to them. Let's sim to the draft and get into it here. Alrighty, so we're just going to sim to the draft here. Let's see. Let's start the draft. Let's see. So I think what we could really use on this team, probably unless there's like an elite goaltender, which I really doubt there is. Let's sim to our pick. Let's see. Sim the user pick. Let's see what's available when we get to our pick at 11 okay so let's take a look at the list here uh, i was hoping that we could grab either uh, like a top six forward type deal or a really really good defenseman but you know it, it's gonna be really hard for us to pick i think let's see as it loads up let's see projected let's go to the potential it's a rate by potential so we've got a top six D man projected first second round hi uh, let's see um Go by projections real quick. I just want to see. I want to see who they've got projected in the first round. The potentials are, I scouted a lot, so I should know the majority of the players that are there. I don't know about him. I have nothing, no knowledge on him. I don't know why, because I probably scouted the league this game, but that's alright. So I'm thinking it's probably a good idea to pick Tikhanov, Sergey Tikhanov. He looks good. He actually looks really, really good. Uh, he's from Russia. Potential should be high, which is good, and he's got, yeah, let's go with him, he's going to be really good, top 6 defenseman right now, projected for a second round, but that's not a big deal, a good offensive defenseman, you can always get that, it'll always help. Alright, so let's sim to our next pick, let's see, we should pick, I think, in the third round, oh, we might have a second round, I'm not sure, I don't remember, I think we traded it, but um, I, th I think we have at least a third rounder here. So we'll, we'll be fine with the prospects as long as the draft can zoom for it. Let's see. So looks like on the little message down on the bottom it says Blue Jackets traded for Bieksa, Camilleri traded to Colorado, Luongo traded to St. Louis. Luongo, like wow. Okay. All right. So let's let's see what we can get here. Honestly, uh, we should have a decent draft. I think we scouted pretty good. Let's see if there's anybody that dropped to us that should be a little higher than. Um, third rounder 71st overall let's see what we have here so sort by potential again let's see what we got uh, bottom six forwards in the third round that's pretty good let's compare these two guys let's compare Aronson and Vishnevsky real quick let's see what we got here so he's got potential to get better for sure let's see um Slapshot accuracy 76, slapshot power 76, 89 wrist shot accuracy. Well, that would be dope if it actually was, because he's going to be hell of a sick shot when he gets. Yeah, we're definitely taking uh, the American. Definitely taking our own sin here. Alrighty. So, th this looks good so far. This looks really good. We've had a nice draft. We've got two really good players. Let's send to our next pick. Uh, let's see if there's any other really big trades, because I'm surprised that there's been even any trades. So, we're, we're picking again 88 overall. Let's see if. We can get, uh, let's look at the goaltending just for fun here, because I think we should get a future goaltender if we can. That would be very ideal towards our future, because we are dealing with Cam Ward right now, which, I mean, there's nothing nothing wrong with Cam Ward. He had a great year and everything, but I don't know. Di Pietro, okay. So they're all AHL fringe goaltenders or unknown. Now, I don't know. I'm going to go back to the forwards and see if we can grab another forward. I mean, a defenseman would be good too. If we could grab somebody that's got potential to get better. Let's see, so 7th D-man, Chubasov, let's see. 3rd slash 4th rounder. He looks good, actually. He doesn't look bad. Uh, scouting accuracy high on pretty much everything. So it's going to be scouted Russia, good. Time scouted 7. 
So, I mean, he, we, we have a pretty good look on what he's got. Um, if he's got high potential to get better, he's only 19. Let's go with him. Let's grab him. Let's see what we got here. I like how this draft is going so far. It looks really good. I'm happy with it. So let's sim to my next pick. Drafting in the late rounds, I feel in this, at least this year's, franchise mode is very important. So you can get, you can still get good talent later on. So even like AHL top six guys could end up being bottom six forwards in the NHL. They could end up being really good if they play well. So I think it's, it's very beneficial. So top 60 exact Kasparitis, that's, that's pretty big actually. If we can get the exact, let's see. Top 60 in the NHL as a fourth rounder. We're just going to take the hell out of the Russians here, it looks like. So, let's see, Kasparitis. Yeah, he looks good. Let's pick him. Alright, so let's sim forward to our user pick yet again. See what we can do here. That, that'll be ideal if we can get, get a decent pick. Another good pick in the fifth round. Let's see. Alright, um... So, I, it looks like we've got a decent draft so far. It looks like we've got a couple really good prospects that could help us out in the future. Especially with our first pick. I really like him. He's got high shooting. Pretty much high everything. It looks it looks solid. Let's see. Let's go by projection real quick. Um, or let's go by league interest. My bad. Let's see. What do we got here? Exact 7th D-man in the NHL. I mean, that, that, could, that could get better, I guess. AHL bottom 6. AHL top 6. Let's see. Let's go back to the potentials here see what we got so there's a seventh d man him let's see what's kolosev's deal is he half decent he looks all right actually um I, he could get better but having the exact he's only 18 so he could improve but i think we should go for a boomer bus pick here so let's go back to potential let's sort by potential see who's high if we can get an ahl top two um with high potential that would be ideal or an ahl top six forward let's see so a playmaker, playmakers are always good, and if he's got decent, he's got decent shooting. He's 20, 5'9", 175. Let's see, let's scroll down a little bit more. Let's go down to Sod here. Let's see, Sod. Sod looks really good actually. If he can get better, 19, 6'2". Let's go with him, power forward. It says undrafted, and it doesn't really do anything to me. In the next pick, we'll see if we can grab one more guy. And then our draft will be over, I believe. I don't think I have a 7th. If we do have a 7th, it's probably not going to be anybody great. But it doesn't hurt to try. So let's peep this real quick. Let's go to League Interest and Sword on High. And then see who we've got scouted. Because um, if there's still a couple guys that are high, that means their trade value will be up. And that'll be ideal. Because we may or may not be wanting to move players in the future, which would be good. Let's see. So, League Interest. There's still a couple guys that have high... This Ollie guy was there at the last pick that I had. Let's see. Nathan only. Let's see. Uh, he looks alright. Um, he's got high interest, high potential, high HL, AHL top 6 potential. 19. Uh, this needs shooting to improve. Let's see. Picking a goaltender would be good. If, if I don't know anything about this guy. Um... He's got high league interest, he's a hybrid, he hasn't been scouted, I don't know why he wasn't scouted, maybe because he's playing in one of those odd leagues I don't know about. Let's take a, let's take a bold pick on this guy here. Let's, let's just, let's just throw one out there and take Hallen in. Goaltender, and we'll see, medium fringe starter in the NHL, that's good. It's solid, that means he's got, he's got room to improve. I don't know if we have a 7th, I really don't. I'll let you know as soon as we can get this done here, let's see. We do have a 7th rounder. So, maybe another just random pick. Maybe we just throw one out there, call it a day here. Because I don't know, um, I don't know how well the scouting is going to do at this point. These are all pretty low-level prospects from what I can tell. Let's see, let's go back to league interest, go to high. Let's see what we got here. Let's see, unknown. Lots of unknowns. So there's one with high. We, we should just take him. Let's just take him. We have him scouted well enough to where he'll be half decent. Let's, just, let's snag him, call it a day here, and then we will go to free agency and see what we can do in free agency. Free agency is going to be big for us this year, I think. Because we, we're going to have to get some really good players for the team. Maybe trade a couple defensemen. We are stacked on defensemen. Um, defensemen depth, at least. We've got way too many defensemen. So let's advance here. Let's take a look and see what we got prospect-wise. Let's see what they look like. Um, 
the, the guys we just drafted because they should be talented. So yeah, as you can see, Lightning won the Stanley Cup. Moving forward from that, Sim to resign phase. Let's see, and then we can go. First things first. Let's take a look here. At least four picks in the first. It's hard to do that, bud. Sorry. Sorry. All right, let's go to the contracts. Let's see. So let's list, list all contracts and then see who we drafted this year. Let's see what they look like. Sort here. So. Aronson, the guy that we picked pretty pretty deep in the draft is a 71 overall with low top nine, which is not as ideal as I hoped it would be. Um, Jubasov 73. Let's see. Okay, so the draft wasn't too bad. I mean, we need we don't have as many high potential players as I like, but they can always boom. It's not that hard to to break out. So that's so that's a, not a bad thing, I guess. Alrighty, so we're back here. I just went through the contracts real quick. I'm going to offer DJ Sheppy a one-year contract. I mean, obviously, or a three-year contract, one-way contract. Keep him on the team. He's going to make the roster. That's pretty much a guarantee. So let's hold on to him. Nostrasio, he could be a bottom liner this year. So let's see if we can offer him two years, 900000 That'll be totally ideal of a contract that we can send him down if we need to. Let's see. Um, we can let... I don't think Robertson's going to be very beneficial. We can release him, let him go. Uh, losing morale over a player that's not going to make the roster doesn't make sense. He needs to chill. Alright. Uh, Medvedev. Let's see, what kind of contract does Med Medvedev want? 2.5 for two years. What does he want for one year? He wants more. Okay. So, 2.5. We can hold off on him. We can let him go and then... Go to free agency afterwards. We'll see if he's still there. Cause I'm guessing he's gonna be there. We should pick him up in the middle of the year. So now we have to go sign the guys we drafted this year. Basically, we need to we need to get them all under wraps before you know we get too deep into this. So send some contracts. Send that to him. That's fine. Uh, send that. To, I'm just gonna send all the contracts here that they want because it'll be about the same as what they are asking for the salary offered. So that's not a big deal. Um, no one cares. Yeah, we'll, we'll just offer these guys. It doesn't really matter to me. Just see if these guys boom or bust. Cause I love. You need to have a couple AHL guys on your team. That'll be half decent. So go from there. Offer him Chubasaw. Let's see. All right, and then after this, we'll sim forward to free agency, and I'll show you guys free agency, and you can tell me who you think would be smart to get on the team. I'll be more than glad to listen to. The guys that watch my videos every day, I really appreciate people that come in here and tune in. So I'd like to see what you, your your opinion is on signing players and stuff. So I'd like to see if you guys think there's anybody on the team um, that could go. Any free agents that we could bring onto the squad that would be beneficial. That would be good. Mm, let's see. Let's get rid of Ganley. Sorry, bud. You're you're not worth much to me. So let's sim forward here to free agency. We should have like five spots open for major players, which would be good. That would be very ideal for us, I think. Let's send forward to free agency. Team looks all right for now. Nostrasso, Giuseppe. Okay, so everybody's going to offer, except their offers, I think. It wouldn't make sense if they didn't. So yeah, everybody signed their offers. So we're going forward to free agency. Pretty happy with that. We have a ton of cap room, too. Let's see. Just updated that. Michael Neuvirth didn't resign with the team. That's fine. He didn't want to resign. You do your thing, bud. All right. So let's take a look at free agency here. Let's see who is there. Steen, Oshi, Tatar, Zabinajad, Hansel, CC, Tyler Johnson, Stone from Arizona. Let's see who the goaltenders are. Uh, make sure to comment below who you think we should sign. I'm not gonna do anything until I see a couple comments. Bishop. Prisgalov, Korpisalo, Pavlik, Enroth. So I'm thinking Bishop should be the guy we go after. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. I'm going to end the video right here. So I'm going to do a quick scrolling through all the free agency real quick. Just so you can see who's out there. See the type of guys that are out there. Make sure to comment below who you think I should grab. So we got Justin Williams, Roman Pollock, Dennis Seidenberg, Halla, Strite, apparently retired. Came out of retirement because he wants to sit on free agency. Good for him. See, Hunwick, he was on the team last year. So yeah, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. So yeah, just make sure to comment below on who you think I should sign. Make sure you have a nice rest of your day as well. Uh, thank you all for sitting here and watching till the end. I appreciate it very much. Comment below if you like the video. 
Make sure to subscribe too. I'm almost at 400. So thank you very much. I will see you all probably tomorrow with another video. I get those goosebumps every time. Uh, I wanna press my like, yeah. I wanna press my. I wanna green like I wanna be like I wanna press my line, yeah. I wanna take that right, yeah. I'm gonna press my line. I wanna green like I wanna be like I wanna press my. Mama dear, spare your feelings. I'm reliving moments, feeling more residual.